Welcome back. In today's Microsoft Excel tutorial, I'll be showing you how to find the oldest and newest dates from a data set. Here we've got a list of dates and we want to try and find the oldest and newest. Now, of course, this is a small data set, so it's pretty easy to do it just by looking at it. But if you had a load of dates, then this would be a good method to find the oldest and the newest dates if that's what you want to do. I've got the oldest box here and the newest box here where we're going to find the oldest and newest date. Let's get straight into it. We'll use the oldest command first. Now the way dates work in Microsoft Excel is they are technically numbers. The set to date, so it will format the number into a date, but this number will be something like 44,000 or something. Now what that means is we can use the minimum and maximum formula to get the dates. So what we'll do is we'll put the equal sign first into this box to start the formula. And then we're going to go minimum. Now we want to choose minimum because the oldest number will be the smallest number, if that makes sense. So the smallest number will be revealed by this formula and that will give us the earliest date. So we put equals min and then we want to hit open bracket. Now we could put numbers in there, but we're just going to select all of our data. Now if you were to add data in the future, you'd obviously want to expand beyond that. And then finally we need to close the bracket and then hit the enter button and it should reveal the date of the 3rd of June which is the oldest date. And that's correct so we can move on to the newest date. This is going to be the maximum this time because the newest date will be the highest number. So this time we put equals, we put max. Then of course open bracket, select our data and then close the bracket and hit enter and it will give the 2nd of August as the newest date which is the most recent one that's correct. And so that's it, nice and easy to find the oldest and newest dates in Microsoft Excel. If you did find today's video helpful, remember to leave a like and feel free to subscribe for more tips in the future. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you in another video.